Paradigm Shifting Approaches to Persistent Global Challenges. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 122. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 122, July 26, 2015 edition. As always, I'm recovering a week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our email newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred another 35% of the content for the Outer Space lesson plan to the website. This brings that lesson plan to 65% complete on site. Behind the scenes, we also completed the last 35% of writing this lesson plan. We additionally added the first 25% of the mind map to the quality and quantity lesson plan webpage. And this mind map is a product of Lucas from the graphic design intern team. We also featured the open source lesson plan across our social media channels, also using an image that Lucas helped create. And behind the scenes, Lucas additionally continued researching and downloading images for the lesson plan mind maps, which covered 25% of the research for the creativity lesson plan and about 10% for the energy lesson plan. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source turnips hub and our open source parsley hub. We also researched and added two additional recipes to the open source asparagus hub, which you can see here. More recipes from our food self-sufficiency transition plan will be added to each of the individual hubs in the future. Last but not least, we added three new delicious recipes from Sandro Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB? We added these recipes to the food self-sufficiency transition plan and they include strawberries and cream breakfast pudding, the field roast potato martini, and corn and potato chowder with red pepper puree. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing continued the pathway and landscaping updates for the Earthbag Village Pod 1. These updates were needed to make space for the roof on the net zero bathrooms. And we're now 60% done with paths and landscaping, and that brings us to 95% done with the complete 3D update. Behind the scenes, we also completed another 35% of the open source camp setup specifics for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This brings us to 50% complete there. 
Sayonara, a member of the architecture and planning intern team, continued work on the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. This time she adjusted 90% of the hatches and layers on the floor plan you can see here. Sayonara also worked with civil engineering student Renata on the reciprocal roof for the Straw Bale Village. After much research, they created the initial drafts you see here of the reciprocal frame in SketchUp and AutoCAD. Meanwhile, Mateos helped in a team managerial role while redesigning the roof and cistern systems for the shower and water catchment domes in the Earthbag Village. Adolfo and George, both members of the mechanical engineering intern team, continued with the vermiculture bathroom designs and created about 50% of the structure, ran initial stress tests on the base of the system, and also ran initial cost analysis on it. They then began developing a smaller and more mobile design while also modeling the layout of the city centered laundry area. Fernando and Amari, both members of the mechanical engineering team as well, finished pressure simulations for their design of the heat exchanger for the Earthbag Village's communal showers and plotted the energy savings. They also obtained the code for the open source software STT Simulator and translated it from Portuguese to English. Velma worked on creating a tutorial for her research on waterproofing methods for Earthship, Straw Bale, Cobb, and subterranean structures. And Samantha, Flavia, and Victor from the architecture and planning intern team researched the theme for interior design and materials for the shipping container Village Pod 5. They also developed the first iteration of this model in Revit. Rahel and Diana, also members of the architecture and planning intern team, created revision 3 of the Earthship Village Pod 6, bringing them to about 70% complete with revising and updating these plans. And Sarah, another member of the architecture and planning intern team, created these hand sketches for proposals for the layout and designs for the Earth Block Village Pod 4. Gilberto, a member of the graphic design intern team, continued 3D modeling for the Earthback Village Pod 1, which included creating the ventilation plug and the window, which you can see here. And Lucas from the graphic design intern team completed about 75% of the second version of the master plan map for the placement of all seven of one community's villages and key areas, as you can see here. Anna finished costing alternative equipment for the transitory kitchen, which is the less expensive alternative to our main kitchen project. And the final housing work of the week came from Carolina, working on the service design for the Treehouse Village Pod 7. She focused on analysis and alignment of this village with sustainable behaviors and values on both the individual and community levels. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. For this week of progress on the Duplicable City Center, Erica, Thais, Pedro, and Victor from the architecture and planning intern team integrated even more aesthetic sustainable solutions into the lighting project of all the domes. They also completed 20% of the Dialux lighting study for the Earthbag Village, aiming for LEED Platinum certification for both. Mike completed about 25% of the renaming and organization of documents and designs created by all the interns for the city center in all seven villages. He also combined multiple files into one workable file of the layout and construction of the Earthbag Village. Ricardo Carrillo, design consultant, principal of Acumen Industries and the structural intern team, Antonio, Gabriel, Beatriz, Fernando, Rodrigo, and Marilio worked on subframing the slabs, the elevator and stairs column, and the cantilevers on the fourth floor of the city center. They also modeled the domes in 3D to run calculations to better account for snow loads. Renata then adjusted the architectural drawings to account for the structural updates and modifications from the structural team. Also, Diogo, Isidora, Zhao, Mateos, and Roberto from the hydraulics intern team designed a dual tank septic system for the Duplo City Center Blackwater. They then completed about 15% of the initial pipe sizing calculations for cold potable water, and they also worked with the mechanical engineering team on the heat transfer piping between the tropical atrium and the Earthbag Village showers. In addition to this, Fabio, Lucas de Souza, Lucas Tetsui de Silva, Guilherme, Enrique, Thiago, and Israel of the electrical intern team completed the energy output table for the living dome. 
With the help of Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business con systems consultant, they also designed an illustration of the breaker box for the living dome. They placed the wiring design in AutoCAD for all three domes and created a table with features of the control system that should be implemented in each room of the Duplicle City Center. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued the updating of our entire website to be mobile friendly. This week's work included fixing the rest of our menus, final edits and fixes to all our top level pages, plus another 50 other pages, as well as making it so all our images properly resize and so that the images with captions have borders that are correct. We'd say we're now about 70% done with this complete website overhaul. Behind the scenes, Lucy Liu, accountant specializing in financial reporting and managerial accounting, continued creating the Charities and Other Not-for-Profit Organization Tax Filing Tutorial. This week's work covered property tax exemptions for nonprofit organizations in Utah as compared to California, and this completes Lucy's work as part of the highest good economics component of building teacher demonstration hubs. Manuela, Gabriel, and Eduardo of the graphic design intern team went through all the hand sketches for possible logos and chose two trends to explore deeper. Meanwhile, Manaseis, also from the graphic design intern team, researched more examples of successful layouts for the interactive documents he is creating for all seven villages. He also prepared sketches you see here and is about 10% finished organizing all the information we'll be sharing. Igor, Marco, Mateos, and Natalia from the software development intern team programmed, tested, and debugged more of the code for the Highest Good Network web application and completed approximately 40% more of a code modification guide for programmers and users, bringing this guide to 90% complete. Last not least, Gustavo finished developing a new feature that allows users to view the activities of multiple people with a bar that changes color according to the amount of time logged. This work was all done on the iPhone app, and he additionally worked on developing the API to integrate the database from the Highest Good Network web application that the software development team is working on. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a Highest Good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. One community thinks it's time for paradigm-shifting approaches to persistent global challenges. What we mean by this is that it, we feel that it's time to change the paradigm of how people look at living. And our way of doing this is by taking the foundations of physical sustainability and combining them with the foundations of emotional sustainability. Physical sustainability being food, energy, and housing. And emotional sustainability foundations being high school education, High Good Economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. Taking these two foundations and putting them together as an evolution of sustainability that will provide a way of living and a lifestyle that most people will find to be superior to the way that they're living right now. And in so doing, this is how we want to create a paradigm shift. I'm going to change the way that people look at living. I'm going to change the way that people think about what it means to live as part of a human family on a shared planet in such a way that people decide that they want to collaborate and cooperate instead of competing with each other. And our model of doing this is by walking our talk and leading the way, by being the change that we wish to see in the world, and by creating everything that we do as open source and free shared, so that it can ultimately be implemented as a complete teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub to be built anywhere in the world to teach others how to create and build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. We believe that if we make this idea and all of the individual components easy enough, affordable enough, and if we demonstrate the, the lifestyle and the experience of living this way is attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And this is how we can create a paradigm shift that will address persistent global challenges like starvation, homelessness, lack of energy, poor education, uh, social inequality and injustice, crime, war, all of these things simultaneously by providing a way of living that meets people's needs sufficiently that they have enough to not only live and thrive and be abundant individually, but to give back. 
Creating teacher demonstration hubs because they provide everything that a person needs in one spot, but it also provides more for everything around it. It gives more to the community that it takes than it takes. It culturally integrates with anywhere that it's developed and helps to bring resources to people that need them most, but also to benefit from the existing resources and to work in a collaborative and cooperative way with existing cultures, with existing communities, with existing cities, or to establish something new that operates as a steward of its environment. Taking care of the earth while simultaneously taking care of people and animals so that we can move towards, as a, as a species, a planet that truly works for everybody. If you don't already know, do the research. Our planet currently has enough resources to feed and house and support every single person living on it and a lot, lot more. So our model is to create the necessary infrastructure, the foundations that meet that physical sustainability need, those needs, and also meet the emotional sustainability needs, and give back to the planet to create a world that works for everybody and teach others how to do this too. So can, we can reach that global tipping point of implementation where it positively and permanently impacts the lives of every single person and living thing on this planet in a way that is sustainable. To do this, we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe this is possible and want to participate. And we're making it easy for people to participate in the way that works best for them. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, this is our open invitation for you to get involved, to join us, to participate in what it is that we're creating as either a partner or a consultant, the people that are helping us to develop all this behind the scenes, or as a pioneer, which are the people that are members of our team that will be moving to the property and building everything that it is that we're designing, or as a satellite member, which are the people that participate in our weekly calls and everything that's happening behind the scenes but aren't interested in moving to the property, get involved in a way that works best for you. Or Help us share our information on social media. Follow us on social media. Share our information on social media. It's the easiest way to support us, and it is a massive support. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest. We are on Twitter. We are on Reddit. We are on Tumblr. We are on Facebook. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Sue. All of these different areas so that we can make sharing our information as easy as possible so that people can access it in a way that works best for them. Share this information and get it in the hands of others that want this information too and spread our ideas around the world, open source and free share so that people can take the ideas, adapt the ideas, modify the ideas, and create additional iterations and spin-offs of it and hopefully contribute those back to the global collaborative so that the suite of options and different models and paradigm shifting approaches to these persistent global challenges can be available in a diversity of ways that appeal to everybody. And if one doesn't already exist, we hope that you would take these ideas and create that and then contribute it back so that others that agree with you would have those foundations to create something similar to. And thus doing, we can reinvent this planet as a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. People ask, what is the number one thing that we can do to help one community with this? Well, sharing our information is probably the easiest thing. The second thing is we're still looking for large-scale funding. Our organization is a 100% unpaid volunteer organization. So every dollar that's donated to us goes to forwarding our global goals. There's no salaries, there's no wages that are paid to anybody that works for our organization. And so all of the every single dollar goes towards our web fees, it goes towards our nonprofit organizational fees, development fees, and the, the tangible things that we have to buy to keep moving forward, to keep developing open source and free share blueprints. And of course, we are still seeking that large scale funding to get the property off the market. So every dollar that's not spent for the operational costs of one community is going towards saving for buying the property that we've been working with now for four and a half years to help us get that property off the market so that we can disclose the location, build our team even faster, develop everything that we're doing, and take our open source creative process forward in magnitudes of 100 or 1,000 times faster than what we're doing right now. So if you're somebody who knows somebody, if you are somebody with the resources that would be interested in donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to contribute or investing in our 501c3 nonprofit organization, we definitely invite you to contact us. We'd love to speak with you and explore what that looks like. This is what we're up to. This is what we're creating. And so, as always, I like to say thank you for everybody who is following our progress. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing our information on social media. And, uh, of course, 
If you'd like more information, more details, more specifics, you can visit our written blog, and that covers all the details of everything that we're doing right now and our most recent blogs. And you can go back and you can see hundreds of blogs now, well, over 122 weekly updates and probably many more if you're watching this at any time other than right now. And, um, of course, I always say until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Oh, last but not least, if you'd like to subscribe, uh, if you'd like an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Thanks for following our progress.